Today we're looking at some of the dumbest people in tech talk. The worst thing about the woke stuff is that they're pressing it down our throats and they won't just have their thing and let Can, everybody be. I'm going to ask you for a specific. Tell me a specific where it's being pressed down, a, an actual example. I don't know because it's the media too that's making it bigger and they're pushing the drag queens into the school. They're pushing gen, um, gender affirming surgeries at very young ages where I couldn't even go get a tattoo or smoke a cigarette when I was, you know, 16. They're chopping off body parts of little bitty kids that. No, they're not. You know, and then. Those are, are those are extreme examples, extreme. right? It is extreme, but it's devastating to our society. Because right, how cool. will we reprocreate repro and continue what? civilization? What is woke to you? What does woke mean? Perversion. <laughs> Explain that. To think that a child of five or six can determine that they want to be a boy because they're a girl, or they're a girl and they want to be a boy. And that they, that the state or wherever they're living, has the right to put them through transformation or transition, um, and the parents don't have a say. Now that's not legal in in all places. I was going to say that's not happening. That isn't happening. I mean, like that 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 no, no, it's there not. Are people talking about it, but there's no sort of political movement to make it happen for five and six year olds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, indeed. Like, I always hear people talk about that. They talk about, like, transgender five-year-olds. There are no transgender five-year-olds. I've never seen one. I always hear about them talking about young children getting double vasectomies and being put on the hormones, etc. That is not happening. 12-year-old children not on hormones. Quite clearly, they don't know any transgender people because it's literally impossible for transgender people to get into hormones. I've got quite a few transgender friends and literally all of them are on waiting lists for, like, multiple years. Like, they can't even get an appointment. Whoa, um, huh? Something tells me that they believe everything they see in Facebook. Sometimes I feel really bad for them people because they genuinely believe what they're told. They read something and they think it's legit. And yet again, then people vote. They usually vote for Trump as well. Like, they're usually the queuing on people. How can people like that vote? Okay, this would be me. Oh. Well, I kind of feel bad for them because I've been in similar situations like that. I think they're doing, like, a word game where I have to guess what the word is. And the word is stupid. And obviously they're looking like one. They're so close, but so far. I mean, I can't judge them. Maybe they've got like dyslexia or something like that. But I feel like I'd be in a similar situation like that. Like whenever it comes to word games, I'm just so bad at them. The way I couldn't figure it out either. I won't lie, I actually got it straight away. I don't know how, because I'm usually bad at them games. However, I feel bad for that person. Most likely just going through the smaller words before getting to it. But you also do have to keep in mind the word is meant to be six letters. So if they're going through small words, that's not going to be the word. Something tells me that person doesn't understand the point of the game. Did they ever get it? That's what I'm wondering. Like I was starting to get a wee bit frustrated. If I were the person filming it, I would literally lean forward, tell them what the word was, so it means I can get through to the next level. Oh! Oh my god! Imagine getting an Uber from him. That looks like an expensive car as well. That's not a stupid person, that's a dangerous driver. Hey, wait, hold it, hold it. Go back, stay with oh, we're already coming back? Hey, stay there. I wanted to context of that clip because quite clearly something was going on with somebody maybe like stealing a car. What the? Look at all the damage. That's gonna be so expensive. I hope his insurance covers that. What can you do, mate? That's... Yeah, what can you do? He literally left the path of destruction. Maybe it was like a burglar breaking into somebody's car and then they got caught here so trying to get away. But we all seen the beginning. Like, they were going absolutely ham. As you can see, the comments were turned off in that TikTok, but I hope the original driver loses his license. Oh, I've seen this video before. Watch this. This is so embarrassing. So obviously this guy's trying to rob a store to get like jewellery and he can't even get through the glass. Like I'm sorry, at that point you should just leave. 
go get a 9 to 5 and stop being a robber. Like, that is so embarrassing. I've literally got secondhand embarrassment. Imagine not even being able to rob a store. Why did it take so long for him to get chased out? I do think in situations like that, you're not meant to go up to the person. Like, you're meant to get as far away from them as possible. But yet again, I've got secondhand embarrassment for him. Imagine trying to steal stuff, break glass, and he can't even do that. This is a perfect ad for the glass case makers. Either that glass is really strong or that man was really weak. And something tells me he might be a wee bit weak because he was a crap robber in broad daylight too. Something tells me that criminal is new to the criminal game. I think that was his first crime and it's probably gonna be his last. Is that a glass bottle? He's just dropped. Is he gonna drive off leaving that there? He can't do that. That's illegal. He's gonna slash somebody's tires. Yeah, again, I'm so sorry if I witnessed that. I would probably grab the bottle and throw it back into his car. Send it to the police. Driver will get done. I mean, I hope you did. He's literally dropping glass bottles out of his car. Also, side rant, I cancel whenever I go somewhere and I see cigarette butts and chewing gum all over the floor. It's just me. He doesn't do that. Like, I don't know what type of people are spitting out chewing gum onto the pavement, but it's not me. It's disgusting. So, what do you call this? Like... Milk. Milk. What? You say what? Milk. Milk. Like... Milk. What do you call it? What do you call it? We, we don't say the word milk. We say the word um spunk. Oh, shut up. Spunk? Spunk, yeah. We say oh, that. no, don't say oh, that. I'm going to go and have like a glass of spunk now. Where are you from? I'm from the UK. And you call it spunk? We call it spunk, yeah. That poor girl. Well, you totally say like spunk shake or something, don't you? Spunk shake. I've never heard anyone call it a spunk shake. Oh, wait. How do you say it? Milkshake? Yeah. Spunk. I'm going to start calling it spunk. No, no don't! Gosh, the cereal or the spunk? Cereal always first, unless there was already spunk in the bowl. Yeah, agreed. And then <laughs> if there's already spunk in the bowl, then you put some cereal in and then you're good. Yeah, but not you're if... Not. But never spunk first. <laughs> no, no, you can't have spunk first, obviously. Like. That poor girl, if you don't know she was American, obviously she didn't understand what he was truly saying. The word spunk isn't what we call milk. It's what we call something else. It's something that comes out of her dad's. I actually don't get it. Can someone explain, please? Is it just funny because spunk doesn't exist or I didn't get the joke? The joke is that spunk is basically semen. So, you know, oh, the stuff that helps make babies. So she's going to be walking around basically saying that she drank somebody you know what. She's so innocent, please. I feel bad for her. She's going to say that too. Imagine she says it to a British person. America is literally a social experiment. I mean, you can't say that. Like, I'm actually on her side. Obviously, it's like a cultural thing. You know, in America, they have certain things that they say and we have certain things that we say. And of course, in America, they're going to know what it means. Oh, you've hit the jackpot. You just got a load of free soda. I tried to do that before and it didn't work. However, I'm happy enough for him. Yeah, you got free sodas. You're very lucky. I'm so jealous. I'm jealous as well. I tried to do that because my chocolate bar and crystal got stuck before and I never got it in the end. And I swear they also do put alarms in them now, so it means that you can't do that. So if you went to shake it, it would go off. You don't realize how stupid people are until you work fast food. Hi, welcome to Subway. How can I get you started? Hi, may I have a Subway? Yeah, sandwich, of course. What kind of bread? What kind of bread do you guys have? You have Italian, Italian herbs and cheese, honey oat, and wheat. I always get Italian. And I have the regular one. Yeah, of course. What size? What size do you guys have? We have a foot long or a six inch. The big one. Yeah, the foot long, of course. What kind of meat? Chicken. What kind of chicken? We have oven roasted chicken, chicken strips, chicken teriyaki, Ooh. buffalo chicken, buffalo chicken. That one. Okay, the oven is the chicken. What kind of cheese? Yeah. What kind of cheese? We have American, pepper jack, provolone, Swiss, mozzarella, and cheddar. The white one. American, yes, of course. Will it be toasted? Toasted? Oh, yeah, toasted. Okay. Okay, she's doing it. Beep, Time for the beep. toppings. What kind of veggies? I want everything. Okay. Oh, I actually did not want olives, jaranera, jalapenos, and onions. Well, then do ask for it. Oh, sorry, I must have misunderstood when you said everything. 
<laughs> Is that better now? Yes, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Would you like chips and drinks with this? Is that free? No. No. Then no, thank you. It's never okay. free. Your total will be nine eighty nine. I thought there were five dollar foot longs. No. Can I have a five dollar foot long? No. Unless you you have a, like a physical coupon, then I can take it. Can you just give me a free coupon? No. Sorry, but I can't. Please. No. I can't. Well, why not? That's against the rules. You just lost a new customer. I'm sorry, but your total will be ninety nine. Nine eighty nine, please. We don't have five dollar belongs anymore unless you have coupons. I can work in an environment like that because I can't stand being around stupid people even though I am one of them people. I feel like I get more angry at dumb adults and dumb children. If it's a child, I don't really care because it's a young child. However, it's an adult, I'm completely different. I had a customer ask for their milkshake with no eyes. So what is that? Just a shake? Oh my god, every time I go to Subway, I suddenly forget the name of the cheeses. So yes, I do say that white one. I'm sorry. I mean, whenever I go to Subway, what do I get? I think I get a foot long Subway mill. And then I get cucumber, sweet corn, tomatoes, lettuce, and that's like all. I've always got the same Subway. I've never ever changed it before. Mom, I had a big part of 9-11. Which part? Not being around, always on vacation, never in the office. Why do you think Barack Obama wasn't in the Oval Office on 9-11? That I don't know. We'd like to get to the bottom of that. We don't even know if he's a citizen. Yeah, yeah if, you, if you don't look at the birth certificate, there's almost no evidence there. Exactly. So there's nothing Barack Obama could do to prove that he was born here? Uh, if there was maybe witnesses that were attendants at his birth, his like birth. his mother? Do you listen to no. his mother? No. no, no. She has motivation to lie. So you don't trust uh, Donald Trump's birth certificate either? Uh, yeah, because he's been here forever. Well, how do you know? But how do you? What's your proof? Um, well, his parents and. But no, but they they're biased. I'm talking about like people who could Why be. Why would the they be biased? Well, like I'm just using your logic okay. against you. Okay. Outside of having no proof, what proof do you have? I don't have any. You don't have any proof. My opinion. Your opinion. And what's your source? Um, just Facebook or Twitter. I mean, I, everything. And I. So you'll look at like facts and bull. And you'll put it all together. Exactly. Obama is a Muslim. He's a terrorist. Nobody will ever tell me different. Do I have proof? No. Do I have articles? No. But your mind is made up without any information. My mind is made up. These people are insane. Like these people literally vote in America. And let's be completely honest. The reason they don't think Barack Obama is American is because he's black. What they view as an American person is basically a white person with blue eyes. That's what they view an American as. It's almost painful. It is painful because these people actually vote. These people vote for Trump. This is beyond scary. Do you want to know what's also scary? The fact that they used to be normal people. They've obviously been radicalized to believe the stuff that they believe. That's why you have to be so careful whenever it comes to conspiracy theories because people start to believe them and then fall down a rabbit hole and then they end up like them. I don't think the media really portrays all the African Americans that support Donald Trump as much right. as they do. So what should we be portraying? Where are these African Americans? Um, there is none. When you literally look out across the 400, 500 people here, we don't see any. They'll wave. Wave, white people! Yeah! It's like a Dave Matthews concert. Except Dave Matthews actually has African Americans in his band. Tell me when you see somebody who is not white. Here, right here. Thank you, brother. Donald Trump don't even know how much a loaf of bread or a dozen of eggs costs. So you don't, you don't even support Donald Trump? No. Okay, so he didn't work. In other words, a classic Trump rally full of misogynistic t-shirts. Trump that bitch. Minorities getting kicked the f out. I mean, Two men getting married is blank. Disgusting. Actually, the answer is legal in the United States. Oh, it's legal, but I don't like it. Do you think a gay couple should have the same rights as a... No, I don't. I really don't. I don't think it's fair. To the gay couple? Well, no, but the regular couple, they work so hard, you know, and the gay couple, they want more. Do you, when you say more, do you mean equal? Yeah, they want equal in that. And that's just too much. Yeah. No, that's the wrong answer. Sorry, hold on. They really do dig themselves into holes by making themselves look stupid, don't they? Sometimes they should shut their mouths because that would be much better for them. You can't make this up. I mean, that isn't made up. That's reality. That's reality for some Americans. Well, anyways, guys, that's really my video there. That's some of the dumbest people in TikTok. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it seemed like a more dumb people, let me definitely will. Chris Figger, subscribe and see you all tomorrow for another video.